Dora likes the camera too much. We gotta move her. Welcome back to Sutton Hobby Farm. It's been a while since we've done an update, so I'm gonna kinda go over what's been happening. We got a pony. I'm not sure if she's in the shot right now, but Miss Molly is here and we love her. She's awesome. Let me rephrase that. Miranda got a pony, but we all love her. Just as an update on how we're doing on the channel, we are currently sitting at 160 subscribers this morning. Super exciting. And <laughs> we currently have 89 videos uploaded. Also this morning we broke 30,000 views. So that was pretty exciting to see. Our watch hours are just over a thousand. And I think that's pretty, pretty darn awesome for somebody who just started um, in November. So we're only a few months in and it's it's going really really well um, Thank you for everyone who has subscribed ha, How about I say that better? <laughs> thank you for anyone who is subscribed if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so it costs you nothing and it helps us Well, I think we'll kind of go around the farm today and kind of update on what all has been happening You're welcome. Don't be angry Yes, oh, here comes Buttercup. She thought she was missing something. Viva. We are officially at seven days left before kids start coming. We got five girls in here who are due. And then Betty's over there in quarantine because she's a meanie. But that is really close on the horizon. So we are ready for some babies. So the past couple of weeks we've been collecting eggs from this little lady and him over there. He's the other half of the solution, unfortunately. But she has not been sitting on them at all or caring where she lays them. So we've been collecting them and we have an incubator. We are going to show you a clip of what it looks like when you candle an egg. I also wanted to do a quick little update. We have a video from a couple of months ago of this gal over here when she had a very nasty abscess on her face. And for some reason, a lot of people thought that I was torturing her, popping it, <laughs> which is fine. But I just wanted to kind of update and show you that she is doing fantastic. And you can't even tell that it was ever there. Her hair grew back and everything, so she's good. She's also about to have babies, if you couldn't tell by the, the bulge that's going on there. She looks a little silly because of her winter coat coming out, but she's doing great. Hi. Hey, excuse you. Oh, hi, yes. No, yeah, okay, one's eating my hair. <laughs> Another thing on the list of to-dos today, Toby needs his nails trimmed in a really, really horrible way. They're pretty overgrown. I wish I could have done it sooner, but he does not want me to touch his feet. I tried it once and he freaked out, ran off, and now he won't let me touch him with it. So I have to kind of build some kind of a contraption here to where I can get him in it and flip him over and kind of do it with the least amount of stress as possible.
Anywho, this is what I got. I'm hoping I can put some food at the very end so he'll go in to eat because the world revolves around food for pigs. And then once he's in, slam this shut and latch it. And then, hopefully I'm strong enough to lift him up and completely upside down. That's the hope. And now that I'm looking at that, that doesn't look like it's going to work. His butt's going to come out of that. I'm going to have to put something else down there. What do you think about this contraption, Toby? You're on the wrong side. Not it. She had to stay in here and clip his hoofs while he was wow. screeching. Yeah, I know. That's why I went out. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's it so deafening. loud. So I went out with Dad and seen what he was doing. 
You okay? Yeah, did you hear Molly? Oh, is she upset She's too? like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this weird kid is. <laughs> I had to change my shirt because I had too much Toby nastiness on me. I was a little stinky. Hello. That was that was much more traumatic than yeah. I was expecting it to be. Hello. It, how loud was it? Um, very, very, very loud. The neighbors could probably <laughs> hear all of it. Uh, yeah. And we live in the country. <laughs> they could probably hear that for about two or three miles. <laughs> That was, that was loud. See how our seeds are doing in here. Um, I don't see anything. I hope something sprouts soon or we're going to be hungry. <laughs> right, so the goal here is to put a little stall in the corner and finish it up nicely so that Miss Molly can have somewhere to go. Why? Why do we have to stall Molly? Because she's a I'm fat. falling on she, this junk. Because she's a fat so and she doesn't need to eat any more grass. Yeah, Miss Molly's a little chubby. She doesn't really stop eating, ever. So we've got a few obstacles to work around, like a giant broken truck. That is... Um, seeped into the mud. And a big heaping pile of rotting drywall. Oh, oh, and the best part is the fact that whoever had this place before us decided to put a building over a foundation, but not on the foundation. So that one needs so to work around that, too. We're going to have to, like, fill it with rock or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's that. That's what has to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Toodaloo! <laughs>